Three-minute eggs coverage of the visual arts is supported by Wet Paint, an independent art supply store since 1976, serving Twin Cities artists and the world beyond. Learn more at wetpaintart.com. Every spring around this time, soon-to-be graduates of the University of Minnesota's MFA program show off what they've accomplished over three years and with the last of their student loan money. And we're at the opening reception at the Nash Gallery, where we'll meet three of the six artists in this exhibition in this three-minute egg. Being here at the program actually was an opportunity for me to explore my interest in human rights abuses about all this humanitarian crisis that is taking place in Colombia, but we don't talk about inside Colombia. These two pieces I have in the show right now are um, basically about forced migration. This piece with the pillows is about internally displaced people, and usually they move in huge groups of people, like families, like thousands of people, that they decide to escape away from their towns because they feel threatened. And this is something that is going on in Colombia for decades already. The video piece is kind of following, again, the idea of immigration, like forced migration, but it's, uh, they are four refugees I interview. Having the images blur and out of focus was a way first to highlight the main characters who are the voices, the, the, the people I interview. For me, it was a way to reinforce the idea of like uh, this dreamlike, kind of um, memories and also uh, confusion and like and the abstraction at the same time. It was very important for me to kind of get to the point of abstracting the main things about that, which is again the story. The motivation started actually from a number of experiences, one of which was traveling in Italy. I went to see the Venice Biennale and saw Bernini's um, Pluto and Persephone's piece, which also features Cerberus, the three-headed dog in stone. I had a near-death experience about 10 years ago, and since then I've really questioned a belief in an afterlife. So this is the result of that. And the video represents sort of this notion of what you expect in that situation of near-death, this kind of white light or like seeing something of heaven. And for me, I only saw blackness, so that was really disturbing. Um, so the video represents that, and then Cerberus is this creature that gu guards Hades in Greek mythology, so he's the keeper of hell. So he becomes sort of the contemporary notion of God, um, because if I put a figure of Jesus in here, or Buddha, then it becomes um, alienating to my other viewers. So if I pull something that is no longer believed in, it, it opens up the conversation. With uh, the tents in particular, it's this idea of um, of creating your own space to do something in. Like it's not just. I mean, I provide this tent, but you set it up with the people you're going to speak with or have a conversation with. So I think to me, there's something really crucial about actually creating a space. And in my mind, these work really best indoors because there's something about kind of carving out a space inside of another space for this specific instance that really like changes it. I mean, something that's much different than just using a room in a building, but really like you're making the room your own by making by setting up this tent. Grad school has been great in terms of figuring out what kind of artist I want to be as I go forward, at least right now, which is really to create more ways of like me getting to have conversations with people. And I'm, you know, I'm primarily interested in kind of setting up ways for people to talk to each other that maybe don't already have an opportunity to know one another. I mean, that's where I get the most excited, and that's why I really want these tents to go out of the gallery and like into the world, and like that hopefully people that I don't know at all will check them out and use them with other people that I don't know, so that there's this way that they can really spread this idea of thinking differently about spaces and creating space and talking and using art in this, in this sort of other way.